et d'arrêter de voir des amis. Where is your things, your property? My husband has moved everything to the village. Are you not surprised for me to ask your property? I'm not surprised. My sister even sent me a text in church that she saw. She dreamt that you, you spoke to me today. So I'm not. Where is your husband now? I don't know where he is right now. Probably he's in the village. We're not talking. Are you not surprised? A man is asking, where is your property? Because I'm seeing the property has been taken to the village. Everything. And the man is, is not in the village. And you too, you are now becoming a, a bad woman. You listen to me? The condition should not make people to misbehave. Your condition is not making you to misbehave. A situation you are supposed to get out of under one year, you may use 20 years to and still remain in this situation. We are not supposed to stay long in our situation because it's a test. When you are doing examination, do you stay in examination for one year? <laughs> when you enter examination hall, it's for a while. After the test, result come out, you'll be promoted. But a situation where your situation remains a year, two years, three years, it's not normal. But when you don't see it as a test, you try to avoid it, you try to do all sorts of things, to manipulate, to do, to, I mean, Satan dislodge you. Our situation is a test, examination. Read, see for the exam, get it. Put it behind you. There was a test your husband saw one day. I will not say what will destroy your marriage. I will say what will bring. Because this man still love you. He still love you. But you believe you are too much. You are very beautiful. You keep looking at the mirror. Your mirror keep deceiving you. So I want to see you. Okay? This marriage, whatever we can do, the man still love you. Thank you, sir. Listen to me. You, you are a stubborn woman. I know. You are not respect the man. You are very stubborn. You give the man a tough time. He asked me to leave my banking job and I stayed. Please like, stop that, sir. You with banking. You are talking about banking. See, banking, every one day is suffering now. Both the banking and everything. Why are you mentioning bank? Is it special? What is special in bank? If he's selling Oglika, he will not mention Oglika. If he's selling fish, he will not say, he made me to leave fish work. Why is this starting with the where banking? That to tell you is a stubborn woman. Because I'm not expecting her to start to do such. It made me to leave my banking world. Which kind of banking? Is it the general manager? No. It's not supposed to start from the banking. I said, uh, it made me to leave my banking world. What is better in bank? Why are you telling me you are working in the bank? The man, I'm defending the man. I don't know the man. I've never met the man. You are the cause of this marriage. You are the cause of a very stubborn woman. Go and wait for me. I will do every property to unite this marriage. Abi, uh, come. Abi, you are not interested. I'm interested. We have two kids together. Ah, he met your kid again. <laughs> he met your kid again. See me, oh. You're interested in the money, I'm interested. Why is it mention your kid? You have kids, you allow your husband to go that way. Okay, where your husband work? He's in Abidjan. Where is he working? He works, he stays in Abidjan, he works there, he does his business. Can there. you imagine that? He cannot tell her the kind of work he's doing. But he's working in the bank. And the, work, the husband working uh, on the air. He's telling that the husband has no job. So you are the one feeding your husband. Eh? So you are the one feeding your husband. You work in the bank as an MD of the bank. Are you MD? No, sir. No, sir. What are you doing in the bank? I was a cashier there. A uh, teller. A cashier is a job. Go well, go sit down. <laughs> Please, I want to see her. <laughs> All these are to humble her. She's very proud. Emmanuel, my name is Mrs. Rose Umealu. The man standing by my side is my father, retired Commander Ilukwe. And this is my immediate younger sister, Ife Inwa Walter Okafo. And this is her husband, my son in law, Ike Chuku Walter Okafo. 
last Sunday, the man of God came to me and asked me, where are my properties? He also said my husband has taken all my, moved all my things to the village. All the prophecy the man of God gave to me on Sunday was, they were all true. Because for almost a year, I and my husband, we have not been talking. We've had problems, we've separated, you know. And uh, I've moved, I moved uh, my things on the 29th of uh, December last year to my father's house. So after uh, the prophecy, man of God said he wanted to see my husband, and I know he's here. My name is retired Commander Emmanuel Ilukwe. Last Sunday, we were at home watching Emmanuel TV with members of my family in Anambra State. There, suddenly, the man of God spotted my daughter. It was, everybody shouted. We were not aware that he was here, really. So we shouted and became interested. So we had a prophecy the man of God gave. Everything he said is very, very correct. What really happened was that about five months ago... Why do you want to disturb Baba? Baba is out of this uh, issue. He only came here to, to support the marriage. Baba, please, don't disturb Baba. Why is her husband? qui est ici présent et sa sœur avec elle. Et maintenant le mari qui sort des rangs, qui a été invité par l'homme de Dieu. Let for me, I don't know this. Just introduction. I'm Suzo, so that's why I don't want to hear anything because I don't want anything to affect this marriage. This is marriage from God. So and we are not in law court. Okay? It's a purely divine message given by God. So, sir, your name, sir, and uh, are you the one we are looking for? My name is Sukuma Umeyaro. I'm a Nigerian from Anambra. So you are the husband of my sister? Yes. So you have listened to the message. And I'm very sorry that I will not allow you to talk because after service I want to see the family. Okay? And uh, do you have anything against what the Holy Spirit has said? No. Or I should allow you to talk for two minutes, three minutes? But I don't want you to say anything that will affect our marriage. Okay, let's hear. Well, she's my wife, and I still love her. He said he still loves her. I think we can listen to you a bit. So, because nothing bad will come from the love. Okay. The problem started when we went to wait. And she needed a homage for the wedding. I told her. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> my brother, I've said everything. I say my daughter here is very stubborn. And when you are stubborn, you want to use private jets. Okay, so thank you very much. And I would not want him to talk more than that. I want to see them in the middle after the service. I will host them. We pray together. Everything will be all right, okay? This is purely message from God. And this marriage is from God. There's nothing we can do about it. So please, I'm sorry. So thank you. Prophet T.B. Joshua hosted Mr. and Mrs. Omialu and family at the Synagogue Church of All Nations. The man of God prayed with and counseled the family. Let us hear their story. I want to thank God for bringing my family back together. Before I came here, the, from the onset of my home, it has been war, problems, you know, more of tears, um, absence of uh, joy you know a lot of issues so but god has done it today he has restored peace into my family once again before i came here i didn't know it was the cause of the key problem it was god that revealed it i didn't know it was my duty for us to be submissive before any other thing you know i want to i'm always right you know so that's it and because of all these issues he um last year he you know he asked for a divorce that he wanted us to separate 
that was in May, so since May till um, um, last week Sunday, you know, we weren't talking. I had to leave my matrimonial home. I had to move my kids to my father's house. The man of God sent for my husband. He, he prayed for me and also said he was going to talk to my husband and which and invited my woman over which um, since then peace has uh, come into our lives once again we are now communicating we don't talk that much so we are communicating we are talking more now you know so he's telling me a lot of things and i'm telling him a lot of things as well we don't communication because then we lack communication we don't talk we only react you know and those reactions were often negative yeah yes my name is chukuma umayaro I'm in Nigeria from Anambara State. I thank God today and I thank the man of God, TB Joshua, for saving my family. I'm so happy today. I'm so very happy. I thank God for everything. Now my family is back again. I'm so glad. I don't have anything to say. I'm just thanking God for saving my family. Now, me and my wife, we are so happy now. We are living as husband and wife again. I'm so glad. I thank God for everything. I didn't expect I would pass through this thing for 13 years. But today, I'm happy. I'm retired. Commander Emmanuel Ilukwe. I'm here to testify to the goodness of God in my family. I'm so excited, I'm so happy. Prior to now, 